<laughs> what's going on, y'all? Listen, <laughs> y'all you know. always start this like this. It's like the top of the morning. Not the relax. I know. You know what? Sunday you know what? That's okay. Let's I, relax. Like the way, I like the way you start Let's off. Because that's just you. Yeah, I don't think you know how relaxed it is. It's a different time <laughs> of the day. It's not 6 p.m. right now. It's a, No, you acting like it's 6 a.m. Like, I'm acting like. Damn, y'all. Get up. Yeah, right now. get okay. on up, y'all. It's time right. to rock and roll now. <laughs> hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Spark <laughs> Channel, where Spark stands for. Smiles, pride, patience, patience, attitude, attitude accountability, accountability, respect, and knowledge. knowledge. Hey, y'all. Y'all know that is your spark mentality and solution to live your best life. Yes. If y'all have not done so already, go check out our website. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. So if y'all don't know by now, yep. you will never know. So, <laughs> But go check it out. Funny. Uh, <laughs> our YouTube viewers and podcast, thank mm -hmm. y'all for joining. But we got yes. a good one today, y'all. We sure do. We have a good one. I feel it, like we always got a good one. We always but, got a good one, but yeah. But this feels extra good, I guess. Really good. Really good. <laughs> right. If y'all don't got your spark bottles, go get it. We carry our mentalities everywhere we go with yep. coffee, with smoothies, with water, with tea, with whatever beverage. Yeah. That you want. Spark aid. Ooh, that's spark coming. aid. See, yeah, don't put that coming. out there like that. <laughs> go get it, y'all. Go it get it. Go get it. <laughs> hey, y'all, let's get into it, man. Like, yeah. we got a great topic, but before we do that, Oh no! I like honestly. I, think I like have I'm, yes a joke. Yes, a bad dad joke. <laughs> I'm like thinking, like, could we ever escape this? Could we ever, like, could that ever happen? Like, just when you think right. you maybe run out of Cold. jokes, run out, like you got, like you just carry them in your back pocket. You must memorize all of these, like from a if, book. Listen, if y'all can get must this be joke, <laughs> like for real. Hi. Podcast <laughs> listeners or YouTube watchers, if y'all don't get this joke, it's something wrong with y'all too. Mm -mm. I don't care There's what y'all say. With you. But babe, you got to get this. You got the last one. I got right? the last one, right? Okay, so you on a one time winning oh streak God, right now. I can't say. Okay, I swear. I don't know about the other times before, but this one. You yeah, gotta, no, those you got to get this one too. You got to get. These are all bad, but that was extra bad if I didn't get those. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Here go the joke. Oh Here go the joke. Since it's Fourth of July. It is not 4th well, of July. It's close. It's right around the corner. Uh, sort of. Sure. Okay, it is. Yeah, you're right, babe. You're right. Okay, it's, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Maybe though. I'm in denial because it's coming too quick. It's, it's coming. Like, okay, really yeah, fast. Time is flying. All okay. right, here we go. <sighs> what do you call uh -oh. <laughs> a duck on the 4th of July? You got 20 seconds. Oh, my goodness. What do you call a duck? On the 4th of July. Oh, I know this one. I just got dun, in my head. Dun, I dun, just got it. I got dun, it. I got it. I'm so excited. I got this. I got this. This is so ridiculous. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh Babe said she has one. She has the answer. <laughs> I believe she got it too yeah. because she's confident. <laughs> I'm so confident. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. If y'all thought she had the answer after you hear it, I need you to comment. Put your oh my comments below or in the podcast area. Put your comments there and oh let us God. know what you thought. If y'all on the podcast, right. I am crying laughing on the video. I got tears. I'm crying laughing. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. All right. Let's reveal it. What you got? <laughs> so say the joke again so I can say what the answer is. What do you call a, du a, a duck? What do you call a duck on the 4th of July? <laughs> a firecracker. <laughs> That is so ridiculous, dog. I literally heard it in my head, and I'm like, oh, oh my goodness, that's so dumb. Ding, 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 a ding. A firequacker. Hey, a firequacker. <laughs> right. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, my gosh, babe. babe like, you, I two, you two weeks in a you row, know what, dog. Like, you know what? I'm going to tell you all right now. 
when we <laughs> even haven't been married that long, but when you with somebody day in and day out, you start becoming like them. Like, you know, where they say couples start to look alike, we start to act alike. Oh, this is my what it goodness. Is. But we yeah. actually already been yeah. acting alike, yes. but this is on a whole new yeah, level. Yeah, this is another level. This is a whole new level. For her so to we, get that joke, that's we crazy. act alike. You start to become your partner. You start oh, to become your spouse. Man. Oh, my goodness. Save me. Save me. Listen, all. man, Save it is me. too late for this. <laughs> you up here cracking jokes. Save me. <laughs> I love you, man. Good job. I love you, Good too. <laughs> you fuck. Man, if y'all got that answer, if y'all thought she knew the right answer, mm. put your comments below, man. I but y'all, man, so hey, a crazy. fire quacker. Man. <laughs> Just get ready for the 4th of July. Make sure y'all being safe and having a good time yeah. on that day man but uh just want to say you know preparing for fourth of july you always want to make sure that you are one being safe and two if you like fireworks go get them but don't run people away from you you want to make sure that you are approachable and not running people away from you by trying to use those firecrackers as a weapon Keep mm. being approachable just like God is approachable Ooh, for us. That's a smooth transition. All right. Like, so that's that is, that's that is our best. topic yeah. today. <laughs> you got the best segues. <laughs> we don't want to use those firecrackers as weapons, y'all. We want to make sure that we mm. are approachable because mm. God don't use the things that we do in our lives against us. He is always approachable. No matter yeah. what it is that we went through or been through or going through in those darkest times, he's always approachable for whatever it is that right. we need. And we got to make sure we remember that, yes. especially in them dark times, yes. especially in times that we don't understand. Yes. And especially when you're trying to live that life uh, following God. But we're right. about to get into the topic now. Yeah. So uh, I'll let Dave take it uh, over. You see that. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I so love it. Let's yes. tune in, y'all. Like, really take this time because we don't get this time throughout the week. Uh, right. The enemy got his got his way of uh, trying to distract us, but mm -hmm. always remembering that we have someone that's approachable. So right. we're gonna really dig into this today. Yes. You yes. Know? And it, it don't even take long to do that. So you'll right. see. Let's do it. Yes. All right. So our topic, like you said, babe, is the approachable one. So we always have our two questions that we ask, and we can get to those and answer them. Um, when, after we have read the rest of the devotion. So, um, mm -hmm. the questions are who intimidates you? Mm. What is it about the person that you find intimidating? What's the best way to make someone comfortable around you? Mm. So our Bible verse for today, um, in regards to our devotion is from the book of James chapter four, verse eight. And it says, come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and mm. purify your hearts, you double-minded. Uh-oh. Ooh, yes. we could have start yes. some. Yes. We going to dig in it. We going to dig in. It's coming. Yes. So there's <laughs> a scene in The Wizard of Oz in which Dorothy and her friends finally get to see the wizard, mm -hmm. and they're scared to death. They feel the heat from the fire shooting all around them they hear the wizard's booming voice they see his giant head in front of them and for a moment they're almost too terrified to bring their request to him sometimes that's how we approach god with fear and trembling after all he is perfect he is the source of all power he knows everything about us even the really really bad things we should be scared of him Except that we don't need to be because God has made himself approachable. Mm. He makes himself available to us. In fact, mm. he invites us to come near him. Because he loves us, we can have a relationship with him. Ooh. That's powerful. Uh -oh. That is powerful. Uh -oh. First of all, I want to say, <laughs> I got to dive in. Yeah. The Wizard of Oz, though. That's the thing. If you haven't seen the movie, yeah. then maybe that doesn't mean anything to you. Correct. Um, so I guess That's you have good. to see the movie. That's good. So just kind of maybe, maybe just if you're not interested in actually watching The Wizard of Oz, yeah. I will tell you right now, uh, childhood scared of The Wizard of Oz for <laughs> various reasons. Yeah. Uh, it, anybody can say that actually too. But if yeah. you want to just maybe read the synopsis, Google The Wizard of Oz and just read the synopsis and maybe check out The Wizard, mm -hmm. then maybe that will connect with you. But right. it makes sense though. Um, in a way that, because I was like, oh, they're almost too terrified to bring their request to him. And I was yeah. like, oh, I kind of forgot that part that's, of the that's, movie. That's big. I don't know exactly what that means. That's big. But yeah. going into, aside from that, think about that's the Wizard of Oz um, mm -hmm. analogy. But another analogy is, you know, 
yeah, somebody who intimidates you that you have to ask a request from yeah. and um, or, or come to um, mm -hmm. with something. And man, I can think of, yeah, quite a few examples of that. And you can, you can be intimidated, you can be fearful, you can be scared. Mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, as for God, um, we don't need to be. That mm -hmm. right there is the most comforting thing because it's like he wants us to come near him. He's like, put your fears aside. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be that type of relationship in which you're going to be too scared to come to me. I want you to come to me because uh, I'm I'm the one to the master helper. He's the one. He's the one where come it's on. like you want to run <laughs> to him yeah. because he is that approachable. Instead yeah. of running from him, you yep. are running to him. Yep. So, um, yep. yeah. Okay, so what you got, babe, in I regards like, to with the questions, I yeah, think, right? Uh I wanna I wanna kinda before we get it uh, okay. sure, you can you can you can do the questions first if you want to. Okay. Yeah. What intimidates you? Mm hmm Okay. What is it about that person that you find intimidating? Yeah. Or who intimidates you? Sorry, who I read that. You? Who intimidates you? What is it about that person that you find intimidating? Yeah. Um, I just think that's like a, a, it's a general way to think about like what intimidates you and why is it intimidating to you? Or yeah. if you want to think about who, you know, just connect that to like, uh, whatever it is that you're currently doing, whatever it is that you had going on in your life, I think it's very important to say, okay, do you want, do you want that person to see everything that you have done or did or are doing? And I think the intimidating part would be if they found out, how would that make you feel? Right? Or, or are you taking that differently? I think I'm taking it differently. And okay. I feel like how are, I could, how are you taking it? And that? I can't say this about me currently, but maybe I can say this way for the past. Okay. I would say maybe that I would find if I was ever um, like on a job interview because you're trying to mm, impress, impress that person somebody. and they can intimidate me because they're the one who is ultimately in charge of actually giving me the job. Uh -oh. And I yeah, remember being actually very fearful mm -hmm. during that because it was kind of one of those where it's like, Oh, I find you intimidating because you're essentially up here and I'm mm -hmm. down here essentially like, I really want this job yes. and you intimidate me by the questions that I may not give the right answer to, Man. or maybe a past boss that you may be approached <laughs> for a promotion yeah, yeah. and they could intimidate you as well because yeah, I found mm -hmm. it because they're in a position of power and they're your boss mm -hmm. and you're coming to them asking them for something like we come to God with a request. Mm -hmm. You're coming to your boss asking for a promotion um, and, and, or for a race. That's and good. I find it intimidating because they essentially kind of have the power and the control over you because they can come back to you and say yeah i ain't giving you that promotion or raise mm -hmm. so that's intimidating yeah that is um or i was totally a off of, uh track y'all she she had brought that's us back okay, on track babe. i'm letting y'all know that's okay babe. like that's yeah okay. i was totally off track so right i feel there. that way yep. because it's somebody that's that you good. bring a request to and that's essentially that what, with god we bring our request and we approach him yeah we can be with fear and trembling have you ever asked for a raise yep. or promotion and you got that nervous butterflies in the stomach like, that's fear and trembling. That's like, mm -hmm. ooh, they gonna say no. I don't know. Maybe they say no. Maybe they're not gonna give me enough. I don't know. You know, or maybe like, I won't be accepted. Something. Yes. You know, maybe yes. I won't say the right thing. Yes. It's all of that, uh -oh. yeah. you know, combined. So so then the next question is, what's the best way to make someone comfortable around you? So maybe then in that situation when you feel intimidated, mm -hmm. how can then you make that person feel comfortable around you, which in turn will make you feel comfortable mm -hmm. and less intimidated? Yeah. What is it? Man, What's the best me, way to make someone? Yeah. The best way to be comfortable is being transparent, real, and unedited. Ooh, that's good. Listen, if y'all ain't got no church on, look into <laughs> Evolve Church. I'm yes. letting y'all know right now. Yes, but for real. That is that is that is how I would definitely mm -hmm. make someone comfortable because you want to yes. be comfortable being yourself. Yes. If you can't be yourself around somebody, then you don't need to be around that person yes. or those people or that environment. Yes. That's why being that's that's why God is so unique. That's why God is so powerful. That's why God accepts everyone. They, God and Jesus accept you yes. for who you are. And yes. God has been accepting us for who we are, no matter what it is that we're going through. So short answer, being transparent, real and unedited like is that. how I would uh, approach being everyone with my own unique spark. Yes. Things that I care about. I smile about, have pride for, have patience for, have a great attitude for, hold myself accountable for, have a lot of respect for, and have a lot of knowledge 
-hmm. I want to be able to showcase that because my spark makes who makes up who I am. Mm -hmm. So that would be uh, a false. That would be a false uh, person that you would be presenting yourself to with if you just not showcasing your spark or who you are. You know, so uh, that's the way I would approach anybody. Yeah. And that's the way you should approach anybody. And a lot of things can happen, like, you know, from your past that could cause you to be fake or put on a mask, even if you do those interviews like you brought up. Right. right, right. Um, um, like even even those interviews are in uh, when you're speaking with someone in a position of power or whatever, like mm -hmm. you put on these masks where you're not showcasing who you are like, man. When you showcase who you are, yourself. you're going to you're going to recognize who's there for you. When you showcase yes. who you are, yes. you're going to be probably losing people that has been in your life. When you showcase who you are, you're going to be offending people from uh, at, at because you're being who you are or because people are used to you being a certain way. They're right. going to they're going to get offended and try to, uh, you know, make you feel a certain way and probably yeah. walk out of your life. And you got to be OK with that, because if you're not OK with that, then you're not OK with being yourself and you're not OK with creating right. those barriers and making sure that they respect you as who you are. Right. So a lot of those people to like just walk out and it can be some of the people that's closest to you. That's that's deciding to get offended or get emotional or walk out of your life. And you got to be OK with that, because being who you are is what God made you to be. And don't ever forget that you want to make sure that you are um, having those boundaries, especially if you get offended by something, have those boundaries, set them up right. and make sure that no one disrespects you because respect right. needs to be at the top of your, um, I don't know, goal to make sure that you respect it for who you are. I kind of went on a trend there. Yeah. But um, that's what I would do to make sure that uh, I'm um, comfortable or yeah. people are comfortable around me. Around you. Upholding yeah. the values that's truly dedicated to who I am. Right. And those values is going to offend some people because your values is what makes you who you are. Right. And don't worry about things that you can't control. And those things is how people respond, what people think. And how they react to your boundaries and the things that you have going on as it relates to your values. So right. definitely wanted to. Uh, that just kind of came over me right there. But <laughs> I yeah. always can tell when it is just when know. you start talking faster. I was like, oh, when you, you come, gotta get it out. When you come around us or me, yeah. I'm gonna be being myself. Yeah. And if you can't handle that, yeah, you can either go, yeah, or you're gonna adapt. You know what I mean? Right, right. And uh, so we're going to have that mutual respect for each other to yeah. uh, make sure we uphold our uh, standards and boundaries and yep. making sure that we always having that love and respect for each other. Right. Uh, no matter what. Right. So. Right. Yeah. I like that, babe. That's that is good. so true. That's and good. Yeah. I think the best way too to make someone comfortable around you is for mm -hmm. sure. I guess I can just think of you. I look at like just your smile. And Man, how positive yeah. you are and your yep. attitude. So I feel like that yep. plays a huge part of, you know, especially when we go back to like the example of, you know, who can intimidate you when there can be like a boss or it can be like a job interview. And like when you can just be yourself in that moment that they can see you as yourself. Um, and then, you know, you, mm -hmm. you just bring that positivity to it because you can tell maybe, you know, the, the person who's interviewing you isn't having such a good day, yeah. but you can make them smile and be like, how you doing? Yeah. I'm like, you doing okay, man? <laughs> right, right, And then, right. like, instead of them saying, how you doing, you can say, you doing okay, man? They're like, man. yeah. And then you can smile awesome. and just be positive. Yep. That goes a huge long way. That can literally make someone be the most comfortable around you when you can give a smile and you can approach them as a, a you know, they ain't up here. Yeah. They are, we kind of on the same level for sure, you know, for sure, even though you yeah. might be in a position of power, man, um, yeah. you know, just treating people with the respect and uh, yeah. kind of maybe injecting a little humor into yeah. situations and just making people smile, yeah, really in, in general. So, and yeah. having that positive attitude because that goes a long way. And, um, you know, you, you then when you can make someone comfortable around you, that can go so far, and yeah, you know. Yeah. That you can bless them as well as they can bless you. Absolutely. And like your attitude, like she kind of just spoke on it, like your attitude is going to go so it's going to take you so, so far mm -hmm. or it's going to take you so, so short. Like right. depending, depending on, on like, what it is, <laughs> how your attitude is, how are you carrying yourself? You know, um, are you 
are you impacted by things that's not within your control? Are you impact? Are you making assumptions mm -hmm. based on a uh, change of events that may have happened during a period of time? Are you uh, are you letting your assumptions dictate your attitude, which can dictate to the people that's closest to you, which could impact the actions that uh may go on in the future you know we got to pray about that stuff and knowing that god is the approachable one we got to mm -hmm. continue taking that stuff to uh, god and helping us navigate those situations especially when we have an attitude to assume like let's not assume let's make sure that we uh are direct and we are um you know validating you know what our assumptions may be or you want to clarify what your assumptions may be like that's just for example let's just say you got someone that's like uh that you feel key word is feel if you feel like somebody is uh offended by something that you have said or offended by something that you mm -hmm. have done um it's only right that you give them the opportunity to clarify mm -hmm. whatever it is that you feel because if you don't then so much time can go by where you're feeling a certain way. And now you're probably, you know, mad or angry because something didn't happen your way within that time frame. And it could just cause like haywire in the future, because now you probably approaching a person that didn't even know that you was mad about whatever that you was mad about. And now they all confused. And now you're just like, oh, my goodness, I had thought you was this. And I thought it was this. And I thought it was this. But you got to give the people or uh, the, the chance to respond to your assumptions. So your attitude can carry you a long way, but let's not assume. Let's make sure that we are clarifying, validating, and just keeping God involved because giving, giving someone the chance and the opportunity to clarify things that you may see as negative, mm. it, it, it creates the room and the opportunity for the enemy to be in to be all within your space right there. You allow the enemy to just open that door and come in and just play around, you know, and the enemy smiles when that happened. The enemy smiles when it sees an opportunity mm -hmm. to continue going in, to know that you're not going to the approachable one for what it is that you're assuming, to know that you're leaning on your own understanding in that assumption. Or there can be some things that you probably know that you probably know is going on or that you probably know has happened and you're deciding not to even, you know, be transparent, real and unedited mm -hmm. about and, and it can impact the people that's closest to you. Like, let's make sure we've been transparent, real and unedited. Let's make sure we moving with that spark in all areas because they ain't going to do nothing but bring us, but bring everybody in your circle closer, mm -hmm. bring us closer, you know, us, cause we are all a community. Like this is a spark community. You know, uh, y'all got to remember, like, you know, so assumptions is something big. And, I, and that just kind of came over me to speak on because uh, that's that's just happening so much in the world today. So let's not make assumptions and let's validate our concerns and let's give everybody the opportunity to uh, clarify what it mm -hmm. is that you may see as negative, because mm -hmm. what you may see as negative is um, most of the time setting yourself up for emotional failure. Mm. every time every time because uh although we may be in a position of power or you may be in a position of power or you may see the person that you or the people that you are making assumptions about as you know someone of a lower or higher however you see it um you know um you could be assuming the wrong things mm -hmm. and um it just creates opportunity for the enemy to um make his way and plan and plot you know different seeds within uh, your families or lives to cause uh, things to go wrong in the future, mm -hmm. you know, or to, or, or to separate, you know, that's like the enemy number one goal to hinder, separate, deter, whatever other negative thing that you can bring up. That's what the enemy goal right. is to do. And it can start with a simple assumption. It can start with a simple assumption. You got to remember that we can't control nothing. We can't mm -hmm. control nothing that's outside of our actions, our our actions, our thinking and the way that we do things. OK, but mm -hmm. we cannot control. What somebody else is doing, thinking or have uh, done, right. but you can clarify. So you got to make we, we, we have to make sure as a community, we got to make sure we are controlling 
on what we can control and not trying to control something that's outside of our control. Mm -hmm. And what's outside of our control is what you think somebody is thinking. Because their thoughts is probably not in line with your assumptions if you haven't validated it. And if you deep down know what the likelihood of something could be, let's not, let's not, let's not be too uh, proud or too high and almighty in our position to just be honest, transparent, real, and unedited with the people that's closest to you. It's okay to just say what it is, be transparent and move on from it because that's another area that the enemy will try to play in. The enemy is going to try to keep you from saying what the transparency is. The enemy is going to try to keep you to withhold information. The enemy is going to try to keep you to hold on to something that's totally out of your control. Mm hmm. Yeah, we can't change the past. We can't change the past, right? But we can change the future. We can change our present. We can adapt to our presence. We can adapt to our presence by approaching the one that's approachable. And that's God and Jesus, right? So if there's anything that you can do differently, ask yourself, ask God to adjust that attitude of trying to move forward when you know something is going on on your end. Because you don't know what's going on on somebody else's end if you haven't clarified or if you haven't checked in and try to figure it out or if you haven't been supporting. Them, or if you just haven't, you know, been there throughout that time that you may be, you know, offended about, you know, a lot of people get offended about everything. man. It can be like so much. It can be one day. It can mm -hmm. be two days. It can be five days. It can be a month. It can be three weeks. It can be six weeks. It can be seven. Weeks. It can be so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. time that can go by. If you haven't gave that those people or, uh, you know, environments, the opportunity to make that correction, you have no one to blame but yourself. Mm -hmm. You got to look at your own, your own actions, your own thoughts, your own insecurities, your own, whatever it is that you have to fix. We can't fix nobody else, but we can fix how we approach our assumptions. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what part I was on, but that just kind of came over me, babe. I'm Everything sorry. just kind of comes over I'm you. Sorry, I'm sorry, God. Yeah. yeah, don't apologize but, for that. Yeah, like, that's yeah, just man. what comes over yeah, you. We, so we, like that's just, you know. We have to just like yeah. make sure our attitude is in the right spot, y'all, because that's gonna allow the enemy to stay busy within your yeah. Environments, man. Like, well, he you know. gonna. I feel like Pastor Ken did have like a message on that yeah. about your fears and like the the enemy can prey on those fears. Ooh, like when you yeah. you're fearful, so when you approach God instead of with that fearful attitude, it's like the enemy yeah. knows that and can get in that like, huh? No, why would you ask God for that? You don't need yep. that blessing. You don't need that. You don't do you yes. know what I'm saying like because you're too afraid yes. um, to come to Him. But if we approach God with that we um trust in him mm -hmm. and believe in him yes. and really have that confidence yes um in him and um you know really do come to him in prayer yeah uh, that's just gonna make the enemy mad so absolutely that's good. I love and it. like i do want to hit on that like in the uh bible it says the lord wants you to come to him wholeheartedly like in this verse mm -hmm. right here it says it says come near god and he will come near you if you running away from God, if you not coming near God, God ain't going to come near you. Right. It's just like if you come near God, God is going to come to you. Right. If you it's that relationship, it's that relationship. Y'all like we have to know God for our own hearts, which brings us to our next part of the verse here. It says, um, um, wash your hands, you sinners. That means, man, look, we just we uh, we uh, we trying to take care of our outside. We trying to take care of our outer side of our bodies, right? Like, and once we once we fix up like the outside of ourselves, and we fix up, we fix our posture, and we look the part, and we are like like moving with our actions and attitudes, and um, you know, not making assumptions and uh, making sure we do things according to God's word from the outside perspective. It's time to rock and roll with your hearts, and that's why the second the second uh, part of this verse says, and purify. Your hearts, you double-minded. Man, 
this is so big because when you talking double minus, that means you got one foot in and one foot out. Mm -hmm. You got one foot in the pool and one foot out because you trying to lean on your own understanding over here. And over here, you like, oh, I'm going to follow God and Jesus. God wants you to come with your whole heart, with your whole heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK, yes. we can't say that we, you know, uh, we're going to pray about it. But then on the back end, you're withholding some information that can break that chain that, you know, is the elephant in the room. You know it. So this verse says, come near God and he will come near you. You have to invite God in. And when you are coming near God, you have to come near him, you know, with your outer being with your hands being washed, right? You're taking care of yourself mm -hmm. and you're coming to him with your whole heart, whole heart, 100%, 1000%, not 99.9. .9, you come in 100%. And when you do that, I promise you, you're going to be losing people. People are going to be looking at you funny. People are going to be thinking that you changing. People are going to be thinking that your mind is different. People are going to be thinking that you're not the same person that you once was because you following God, you're following Jesus. And they just don't understand. Right. Like you, they are not going to understand when you start following God and Jesus, they're not going to understand your movement, the way you move, your schedule is busy. You too busy. Like you're, you're going to get, you're going to get that, uh, that the enemy is going to be trying to knock you off your path. Mm -hmm. It's going to be some distractions that's coming your way. Right. When you are following Jesus and following God. And one thing to remember, if you haven't seen the Wizard of Oz, right, I'm just going to try to tie this together. So the Wizard mm -hmm. of Oz is about this yellow brick road that uh, these characters is, is on. And uh, along that yellow brick road, there are some distractions that's trying to take them off that yellow brick road. And all of those people that are different, it's about four or five of them. All those people that's on that yellow big road, they are headed for one purpose. They are trying to see the Wizard of Oz. And in our life, we trying to we trying to build that relationship with God. We trying to we trying to uh, see God. Right. Though in the Wizard of Oz, they trying to see this person that's called the wizard. And uh, the analogy is people trying to see God. But along the way, you're going to have so many distractions that can be discouragements. That can be people people's uh, feelings that can be people feeling like you changed from who you was. That can be people feel like it can be so much as trying to knock you off your so path, but you got to stay along the path. No matter what you got to set up those boundaries. You got to uphold what God has put in your path mm -hmm. that God wants you to hold on to in Jesus name. When you moving with that energy, when you right. moving with that attitude, regardless of what somebody else is thinking, you have to be okay with the cost that someone is going to get offended. You have to be okay with the fact that right. someone is going to get offended regardless. Right. And, 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 and God is, uh, yeah. God can tell you, um, that he places different situations in your life and he places yeah. difficult situations in your life to bring you closer to him. Yep. Like he, That's that, big. that, like it, that those situations Come on. will be, put in your life to bring you closer to him because yeah. when those situations come in your life mm -hmm. uh those are the situations then that you look and say i want how am i gonna get closer to you yeah by talking to you by That's praying big. to him by yeah. reading his word yeah. all of those things that brings you even closer to him and having that relationship is things that we always say is the power of prayer mm -hmm. and praying mm -hmm. and things that we're doing right now mm -hmm. is talking about and and Man, and, and, and talking yeah. about his word and so it's just like yep it's huge yeah 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 <laughs> So, on this all day. Yeah, y'all. So, <laughs> man, uh, we ain't going to be too long. In gonna, conclusion. We gonna, in conclusion, <laughs> man, just know that the approachable one is God, mm -hmm. um, is Jesus. And yes. Jesus is God and God is Jesus. Yeah. Right. And you can add a third one if you want. You know, the spirit, mm -hmm. you know, you got, you know, you can be spiritually fit, physically fit, emotionally fit. Mm -hmm. And, um, Making sure you have a great attitude, not making any assumptions. Yeah. Um, as given you approach God. As you approach God, yep. you know, with things that you have to give account for, like, don't be shamed to go to God for 
uh, things that you need help with. Mm -hmm. And some of them things can be assumptions. Some of them things can be what you have probably done in the past and you just too shamed to bring to God and ask mm -hmm. for uh, forgiveness about, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, so many things people can do, man, that can like, you know, sometimes it can be stuff uh, that children is doing to the parents or the parents is doing to the children or or cousins and brothers and sisters is doing to each other. And, um, you know, a lot of that stuff can come from the past. And right. And like if you allow the past to dictate your future, that's not a recipe for success. It's just not, you know, uh, let's make sure we being, you know, transparent going forward, though. Yeah. You know, and uh, knowing that God is approachable, let's make sure we are approachable with each other. Like y'all got to be approachable with those that's closest to you. Right. And being approachable can probably mean like support each other. You know, like. You know, you got you got uh, a lot of families out there that that support each other, but it's not it's not reciprocated. Right. You know, it, it, it can it can it can it can be a lot of things that's tied into like uh, being approachable or not being approachable. But you want to be able to go to God because he's approachable. Right. Like we have to kind of live by example. We are never going to be as great as God or as great as Jesus. Right. But we can follow God and follow Jesus and live accordingly right. to the way they want us to live in order to make sure that we are um, just having the best life that we can by doing what they are calling us to do. Right. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a war, y'all. It's going to be that war when you decide to follow God, when you decide to follow Jesus, the approachable ones. It's mm -hmm. going to be um, so many things coming your way to knock you off your path because right. your attitude is going to change. Your energy is going to change. You ain't going to be given like all these details, probably like you used to do. You ain't going to be listening to some of the things that come to you uh, that used to impact your you life. Gonna be like, quiet. You're going to be quiet. Like, Mind your listen, business. you're going to be minding your business. You're going to be doing so yeah. much. Y'all live that quiet lifestyle, man. Like yeah. God wants you to live a quiet life because yeah. when you live, when you live that quiet life, yeah. you can hear God's, words you can hear god can and hear jesus voice. speaking so when people you know like they want to so many people want to yes. do get in your business so when you yep. do talk about that like everybody wants to know the details of your life it's like mm -hmm. i'm just minding my business yeah and minding your business yeah and i'm leading a quiet life come on there doesn't need to be so much that you need to give yeah it's like you can really have um you can literally just go along living your life leading your life yes um and moving along enjoying your life without having to let everybody know what you're doing yes because they're gonna see what you where they're gonna see what you're doing your and sometimes actions, they already see it right sometimes they already see what you're doing your actions can speak so much louder than your words you just you gotta I mean? like, y'all just, just gotta stay way. along the path yeah go ahead i'm sorry right but, but for real like yeah. that's just how it is so um you know uh yeah man i'm telling you right now the enemy is busy yeah man when, like, he, when he, yeah. he went he he wants to put so many things in your path to uh drown out god's voice yeah come on and 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 have it be so noisy yeah. that that you can't hear god's voice yep. and it's like oh no oh no yeah let's lead that quiet life let's mind our business yes and let's hear god's voice but yes. drowning out the noise and the distractions and the temptations and the different things that he's putting in your path yes uh to have you not hear god's voice and lead you on the path to him yes god wants you to be led on the path to him yes but yes. like i said there's so many different things that come in the way and try to knock you off your path every time because every day. when you're following god you're following the ones that's approachable mm -hmm. even when those here on earth is not approachable again those yeah. here on earth can be the closest ones to you that's just right. not approachable right and not being approachable can be like they're not accepting you as who you are mm -hmm. or who you are presenting yourself to be right, right? Or, or 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 they feel like you right. are being different from the past like right. that's all about Right. their approach or are they approachable in that moment you know right. so uh make sure you protect yourself uh protect your your uh physical self your spiritual self right uh because the enemy is trying to attack whatever area from whatever angle they can even if they can get into the people that's closest to you to do it right 
you know, sometimes people are close to you can say certain certain things to you that can trigger certain things to you from the uh, past. Right. Even if they like, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, sometimes people are like uh, send you stuff, you know, and then they'll take it back mm. because they like, oh, I didn't mean to say it. Yeah, I didn't mean to say it, but I meant to say it. I just didn't want you to see it. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful, like, you know, uh, you know, even if even if even if someone seen something like your attitude will help you in those moments to like just be able to say, you know what, mm -hmm. it's out of my control. Yes. You know, we can't control yes. no one else's actions. We can't no. control what someone else is, is doing. All we can do is just approach the approachable one, mm -hmm. give it to them and continue following God in Jesus name, because that's our purpose. That's our purpose. We ain't gonna let nothing, let nothing stop us from going right. and following God in Jesus name. Right. And, I, and you should do the same. Don't right. let nothing knock you off that yellow brick road, that white brick road or whatever color road that God and Jesus have you on. Right. Okay. Right. And that's where you are going to uh, see success because Anytime you're giving yourself to God yep. and Jesus, you're going to look different to somebody. For real. You're going to look For different. Real. For real. They're not going to recognize you and they're going to start to say, right, yeah. they're going to not like it because they don't like change and they don't like, you Come know, on. they, they, they want to stay on to the old ways Come on. and the old ways of the past and, yeah. and they don't like the change and it's like okay well no yep. you m either moving with me or you not so Come on. um but this yeah. is who i am i'm, I'm not going to change myself Come on. For nobody. For real. Uh, like, for real. I ain't gonna I change mean, myself like, for nobody. Like yeah. you you want me to be a certain way because that's your expectation? Absolutely not. Listen. No, this is me. And if you can't accept me for who I am, yeah. like that's just the way I'm gonna be. And I'm like I said, I'm not gonna change myself for nobody. Like correct. And whether I'm the closest to you or not. Correct. Whether you're like I said, whether I've known you for uh, forever. Yeah, nope, it don't even matter. Sorry. No, it don't even matter. Happen, right? If like somebody is not accepting you for who you are, you know, you just gotta be able to accept that and mm -hmm. just move forward. Move forward. And yeah. and hoping that, you know, people that's closer to you is gonna yeah. accept you for who you are. It's gonna accept yeah. your boundaries, it's gonna respect you the way right. you know uh you want right. to be respected. You, and yep. when that's not going on, it can, you know, it can cause term oil for a short term, but yeah. you know, the adaption will come. Yeah. And um in Jesus' name it will though. Not mm -hmm. on our time, not on your time, right, but only on God's time. Uh, right. And God in Jesus' time is the right time. It is. It's it's, it's the right time every time. Yep. Every yeah. time. Every time. Yep. Right. All you yep. gotta do is trust and believe. Trust and believe yes. in the approachable one. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure y'all always remember that, the approachable one. Yeah. So uh Hey, y'all, I know that was a little uh, <laughs> long today. Maybe not. I don't think it was that long. No, it was maybe. good. I think but, it's one of those where it's like sometimes when you just have yeah. that, especially Pastor Ken will talk about that too, yep. like when you kind of just have the Holy Spirit placing something on you, yep. it's like best to get it out because it's something that you feel so strong yeah. about and it's on your heart. That was so a strong like, one today. It felt like, a man. That very was very strong one. Yeah. So it's like it's just, just one of those that you. we really honestly hope that and pray that this message will reach someone on um, based on what was said to you that the Holy Spirit was trying to speak through you to someone. Man, seriously, and that's, yeah. a, that's essentially what it is. And, yeah, we hope um, it connects with somebody yeah. or a lot of you. you anybody. Know, so Anybody, man, because the enemy is uh, definitely trying to work. Mm -hmm. It's magic, but remember, Always. can't no weapon, no weapon that's forming prosper if you don't allow it in Jesus' name. No Absolutely. weapon can prosper. Right. No weapon forming can prosper. Right. That's that gospel no sign. I want you to say that. That is a gospel sign. What? That that statement you said, the no weapon. I forgot it. Yeah, I know. But I know if you heard it right now, you would be <laughs> I shaking start saying a lot. It. <laughs> yeah. I but, love your voice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all. So we're going to um, actually do like a one minute prayer because that's how long it takes for you to just give whatever challenge or... Yep. Um, issue that may be at the surface or the elephant in the room mm -hmm. that's you know that elephant can probably be uncomfortable yeah right 
Even the right. elephant can be uncomfortable. Yeah. And we don't want no discomfort, right? Like right. whatever is at the surface, let's take one minute and just ask God and Jesus for help in that area right. Right. to help you navigate it. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go, y'all. And three, two, one, and go. All right, y'all, we back. Hope y'all gave it to God. Now it's mm -hmm. very important that you just leave it with God mm -hmm. and now That's live huge. accordingly, That's right? Huge. According to Jesus yes. and God. And whenever you yes. feel like you're struggling with that, go back to God and ask to get help Yes, from him. Like he's the best counselor. Absolutely. Ain't no, like he's the best counselor, the best teacher that yes. you can turn to. Yes. But it's sometimes he's probably the most least used if that mm -hmm. makes sense yeah so we got to remember right go to god and jesus because yes. they are approachable yes for whatever it is that you're going through absolutely yeah so we're gonna oh, go ahead. this just came over me like i guess i just feel like as you were saying that like if y'all like we don't know but you can always connect with us on social media yeah on facebook or instagram yes. yeah um I think I probably use Facebook more than I use Instagram. I'll be quite honest, or even yeah. here on YouTube, but yeah. um, Facebook might be the easiest. Um, but if anybody ever needs like individual prayer, For I sure. wouldn't say that we're experts by any means, yeah, um, but right. saying that just from being able to relate to, from a standpoint of we each have our own testimonies and um, the things that we have experienced in life mm -hmm. and just being able to connect with anybody. If anybody from, you know, on the back end just wants to just reach out, and say i need individual prayer we are there and um however we go about that way um just send us a message and we can we can do that so i just kind of want to offer that out yeah that's in a way don't i i would hope seriously that, I, I would hope that we're approachable yeah and like you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> like come I'm on y'all like yeah like i would think that we're approachable yeah. that you if it's kind of scared like i don't even know who this person is okay well yes. you know Yes. Uh, we are here for you so yes we definitely here for you man this yeah. is um uh, we're doing it like the reason why we're doing this is i i, I believe is so much bigger than just um coming on to pray with you mm -hmm. or to connect with you i believe that you know god has selected you because yeah. you're 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 watching this like and yeah. god has or you're listening to this yeah and god has selected you um to listen because he has selected you to do his work as well yes and and, and a lot of times um god connect with those that are broken and those that are uh or those that have been broken and god see the how strong you are to become um who they want you to or who they made you out to be yeah uh, or who the enemy has decided to attack so always remember that like God has selected you to listen to this. God has selected you to view this. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you're not here for no reason. Right. You're not right. here for no reason. Okay. Yes. But definitely approach us, you know, for prayer, just like Andrea has said here, babe yeah. has said here. Yeah. Uh, uh, because we definitely want to make sure that you are one, just staying connected with God and Jesus, especially through those hard times where you just need to hear from someone on earth. Right. And uh, two, you know, to just make sure we are not losing our uh, getting distracted from mm -hmm. our yellow mm -hmm. big road or brown road or yes. whatever road got. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like so we're going to get into the prayer, y'all. The uh, devotion we do prayer. This? Oh, this devotion prayer right and here. Then, okay. Yep. And then we'll um, do our prayer. Okay. Pray it out. Sounds good. So. We say, dear God, thank you for allowing us to come into your presence. Let us never lose sight of what a privilege it is to have a relationship with you. 
Man. Amen. It Amen. is a privilege. It Amen. is a privilege. Such a privilege. Yep, that we Such should be privilege. able to honor our relationship with God, yep. honor our relationship with Him, and know that it is a privilege. It is something that, yeah, we are so blessed to be able to even have a relationship with Him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And we're very blessed to have relationships with those that we do have relationships with. Yes. Um, subscribers is picking up. Great job. Subscribers like being wow. able to view and you That's know exciting. um all the subscribers that are subscribing great job yes um we don't ask for subscribers we only want to connect with those that see value out yeah. of what it is that we are um that god has allowed us to put out so right. that's why you you don't really hear us saying hey subscribe, subscribe below, channel, subscribe you know. below. But, yeah right you know those that want to be yeah. connected those are the ones that god selected yes to uh, be impacted or to see yes. what it is that God is doing because um, God has a something for you in your life. Right. So for good sure. job. Yes. We're going to get into the prayer. Okay. Um, dear God, thank you so much for allowing us to be here tonight. Uh, we know it's late, um, but you have us up for a reason. You wanted us to, co to connect with someone out there that's uh, struggling with approaching you. In those darkest times, God, um, there's someone out there that's um, struggling with the enemy, um, with the challenge of approaching you, even for things that they feel like they are not worthy to be uh, blessed for. Um, God, um, I pray, we pray that you help them navigate those situations where the enemy is attacking them and trying to get them to close their mouths, God. Help them to approach you in every situation that comes their way, God. Help them to mind their own business. And a part of minding their own business is focusing on what God has, what you have given them, God. Don't focus on what somebody else is being blessed with, God. Help them accept those that are presenting themselves as who they are, God. Help them to recognize that that uh that change is not all is not bad change is good god help them really see that the change is for the better god help them to see that change and faith together is a success and recipe for success god and help them if they are lost god uh with approaching you um i pray that you pray that that uh, we continue to pray even during times where we are doing well god um, help those that are doing well continue thanking you, God. There's only 10% of people that um, that's listening to the Bible that's coming to you, giving you giving you thanks. And that's probably still existing today. If that is still existing, help those that you are blessing come to, come to you to say thanks, God. Even if it's in their minds, God, help them say thank you right now, God. I say thank you right now, God. Let's not be shamed. Let's not have shame to worship you, God, and give thanks to you, God, or even approaching you, God. I pray that you continue allowing us to see the blessings and just to allow us to follow Jesus, follow you, God, in everywhere, every way you want us to go, everywhere you want us to go. And for those that may see us following you, God, is causing us to look different or is causing them to look different to others. Help those around them to accept them for who they are and to accept us for who we are. And have a great attitude and an amazing spark along the way while being transparent, real, and unedited. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, y'all. That is it. We hope today wow. definitely connected with you. Yes. Um, again, we're approachable, y'all. That is why yeah. we're going and we want to pray for you. Um, right. If you are struggling with prayer, uh, and always remember, like, God knows mm -hmm. your heart. It's yes. like in the um, verse today, it talked about cleansing your heart, but God already knows your heart. You can't have, you can't wash your hands and don't clean your heart. You right. can't be double minded. You can't have one foot in and one foot out because yeah. God knows. If you're one foot in and one foot out. Right. So really have a goal to live a quiet life and make sure you cleanse your hands and your heart. Right. Because God wants you to come to him as one. Yeah. Not two. One.
what? or not half one. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all do that wholeheartedly. Yep. All right. Okay. If there's nothing else, <laughs> spark stands for <laughs> smiles, <laughs> pride, <laughs> patience, <laughs> attitude, attitude, accountability, respect, respect and, and knowledge. knowledge. Hey, y'all, uh, y'all know you do not have a strong spark or can't even relight that spark. Or may not even see a light at the end of that tunnel mm -hmm. without a strong faith. Yeah. In God, in Jesus' name. All right. All right. Love y'all. See you next week. See you next week. <laughs> Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>